I want to show you guys one of my favorite makeup looks I love to do. It's super easy. It's just like pinky and bronzy and really beautiful. Kind of a no makeup makeup look, which is my favorite. So I'm going to show you guys step by step what I like to do. Get it all out of my face. I already put like all my products on, my skincare products on, so my face is ready for makeup. And I am going to start by using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. It's a really nice light foundation. Blend it all in. I'll probably use my hands a lot too and just get in there and kind of blend everything in more. But this is nice to start with to apply the foundation with everything I do I bring it down to my neck you want everything to blend for under eyes I get bags and dark circles a lot I love this product by Tasha it's called the pearl and I love it for under my eyes it really just like brightens them up and it feels like you're putting on a light cream which I love I'm just gonna put that on Honestly, I see the difference right away, right? You don't need to use a lot either. This product is also great if you're like not trying to put on a lot of makeup, but you want to just get on something like before a workout and you want to just cover up some bags. Okay. Next up, I'm going to cover up all of my little friends, aka pimples. My skin is pretty broken out right now. Um, on my period, and usually during that time of the month, my skin is not happy. Ooh, I like that breeze I'm getting. Honestly, I'm probably not going to be able to perfectly cover everything up, but you know what? Doesn't matter right now. And I'm using this Bare Minerals product. It's a foundation hydrating stick, and I really love it. And most of Bare Minerals products have sunscreen in it, which is an extra bonus. Okay. So usually after I do my skincare, I like to go right into eyebrows. I am using an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I'm using a soft brown, but everybody has different color eyebrows, so find a color that matches yours best. I think starting out with eyebrows really like structures your whole face, and is just a great way to start out makeup, and I think eyebrows are the most important step. Okay, so I like to start by brushing my brows up and just kind of creating that shape that I'm going to do with the pencil. Okay. Do little strokes that match your hairs. Fill in those areas in your brows that need a little more color. I love a good brow. I am all about brows. So just do strokes until you kind of get that shape down that feels natural. Nothing crazy. And remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so they're never going to be perfectly even, and that is okay. I think with makeup in general, if you're always trying to make it perfect, it's A, going to take the fun out of it, and B, it's not going to look natural. And I think, especially for this type of look, you want it to feel like you're not wearing a lot of makeup. Like you just happen to roll out of bed looking this way even though I spent an hour getting ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing on the other side. Brush it up again. Okay, so 
after I do that, I like to use a brow gel. You can also just spray some hairspray on like one of these little brushes and use it to kind of get your brows to stay up. But I love this Maybelline like clear um, great lash product. It's kind of beat up, but I've been using it for a while. You can get it at any like drugstore. So just kind of get those brows up. I love a bushy, thick brow, so I'm going to create that illusion by trying to keep those bad boys up. This product's also great if you have, like, these little flyaways. You can kind of use it to, like, push those bad boys down. It's a great product to have in your purse. Okay, brows are done. Next step, I am going to do eyes. So first I'm going to curl my eyelashes, which I think is a very important step. You want to kind of hold it down on your eyelashes for a few seconds to really get that curl so it stays throughout the day. I learned that from a makeup artist. Okay. Count to three. One, two, three. Okay. I am going to do some eyeshadow. I love Tarte products, and I'm using this, it's all beat up because I use it a lot. Um, it has a lot of really nice like neutral colors in the palette. Um, I am going to use the Smarty Pants, which is kind of this like, it's kind of blurry, but this light brownish color. It's really nice. I'm going to use a little brush, get it on there, kind of shadow your lid right here. Nicely put it on. It's really just going to create some shape and help your eyes pop. And you really want to make sure it looks blended so it looks like you're not wearing makeup. Once again. As just a little definition next step for the eyes I'm gonna use a darker brown I'm gonna use this color right here it's called rebel I'm gonna use a corner brush and I'm gonna get a decent amount on there make sure to tap it always so it doesn't kind of fall down your face when you put the eyeshadow on okay so for this part I'm gonna get my lash line up here just to add a little more pop to the eyes and you're just going to follow your lash line. See the difference it makes though? Okay. Next eye. And this is supposed to be a simple look, so I'm not going to like bring it out like a cat eye or anything for this look today. And... I know it's not super natural, but sometimes I'll add a little bit inside my bottom lash line. Because it does make your eyes pop a little bit more. But don't let it go outside your lash line because that's going to make it look really heavy and makeup-y. Please excuse my beautiful face as I make while I'm doing makeup. So, next step. I'm going to use this Benefit. Dallas Dusty Sunset Plum Powder and I kind of use it as a bronzer and a blush. It's a beautiful color. So this product comes with this cute little brush and I usually use it because I kind of like the shape of it. So I'm going to blow it and I'm going to use this to add color to my face and just frame my face and brighten it up and look like I have been in the sun. Okay, so I get the cheekbone area, I get the hairline. And really blend it in. You don't want it to look like you have lines or a lot of makeup on. I get my ears. I know it feels weird, but oh, there goes my earring. Got way too into it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add a little under my chin just to 
make me look a little more chiseled and so it kind of blends in you want everything to look like it's all the same color you don't want your face to be one color and your neck and the rest of your body to be another color because i've done that before and it's not cute let me put my earring back in so after I just did all that, I usually like to put a little bit of facial toner on. Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. Shout out to Trader Joe's. It's the best, so I'm going to spray this. I'm addicted. I feel like the toner kind of just helps the makeup set on your face a little bit nicer and it blends it all in so it doesn't look super cakey. So I'm going to be using this beautiful product from RMS Beauty. I am going to be putting it on my cheeks, my eyes, and my lips. And it's very creamy. You use your finger and you're gonna put it on each cheek. And you're just gonna pat it on your cheeks. You can even put it across to your nose and just blend it until it looks the way you want it to look. It's a really nice color. And that makes you also look like you've been in the sun a bit and you got a little pink in a good way <laughs> if that exists <laughs> and then I also like to add a little bit to my eyelids and then you're just gonna blend it really just want to blend it tap it in until it feels good and looks good and then I'll be putting some of my lips Last step is mascara, and I always like to do mascara last because it can be kind of messy. I am using Marc Jacobs. I like this one. It's nice and thick. And I'm just going to do my top lashes. Sometimes when I do the bottom with mascara, it feels more like a nighttime look, and it feels more makeup-y, which is a fun look, but when I want it to look somewhat more everyday natural-ish I just do the top and it just kind of makes your eyes a little smoldering that was creepy okay mascara done oh actually two more steps powder my mom used it and recommended it to me. I used this product as a teenager when I first started using makeup. So this is the Secret Brightening Powder by Laura Mercier. It's a great light powder. You don't need to use much. It's beautiful. I'm going to use this brush. And just get it on there and tap it. Put it under your eyes. You can do your nose, the corners, get all those areas that get kind of oily. Sometimes I'll do like the spots that I have breakouts just so it doesn't look shiny. My last step now is going to be adding some lip gloss. I don't know what brand this is, but I really like it. It's like in this little tiny bottle and it doesn't say what name the brand is, but it's a really nice shiny lip gloss. And it kind of is minty. I just recently got back into lip gloss again. It's kind of annoying sometimes when your hair is like blowing in the wind. But it looks really nice. And it kind of stays on all day. So this is my natural makeup look. I'm going to put my hair down. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Let me know what you guys thought of it. I know it's quarantine right now, so there's not much to do or many places to go, but I think this is a great look to do if you're doing Zoom meetings or just having a little date night at home or just want to look beautiful for yourself because why not? So thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will see you next time. Mwah.